Good morning, I'm David Wood for Bag Up TV. We're on his way today to Stoughton Arold Reservoir. Uh, oh, she's here already. Sat now, my lass. Um, well, this is where we turn off and all. What a day, what a time to do the video, David. You've had an hour and a half to do all the video. We've sat there and talked to Matt Mallier on way down, and now I've cocked it up. We're coming off. Yeah, so we're on the open match. There's 50 bucks on. Thought it'd be something different. I thought, oh, shall I go here? Shall I go there? No, let's go somewhere different and have a bit of a. Um, like to keep different matches coming on here. So I thought we'd give it a go at Stoughton Harold. Stoughton Harold Reservoir. I think it's near Derbyshire. Where are we? Where are we? No idea. We're, yeah, Stoke, Derbyshire. Sort of area. It's all feeder fishing. So that suit me. Uh, apparently it's a long chuck and a short chuck. I've watched a few videos and I've uh, I've got a bit of information off Matt Mallier and, and everybody like that. We're going to go around this corner now. I bet you, what the hell? Holy schmoly. Oh, it's one of them where you just go around. It's like a big circular thing. Whee! <laughs> That's a cracker, sir. Yeah, so, got a bit of information off them. Um, got all my bait, casters, worms, maggots, all corn, all sorts of stuff. No, alright, alright. I don't really know what I'm going to do when I get there. I'm just going to wait and see what sort of peg we get. Hopefully it'll be nice. Bloody hell, woman, shut up. Hopefully it'll be nice and easy. That's what I'm hoping for, nothing too strenuous. And um, Matt says that they're absolutely savage bites when you get them. So we'll just see how we go. see how we go. I'm really looking forward to it. Something a bit different. Um, tomorrow we're at the Feeder Masters for Carmel. So it's a double double weekend for us. And uh, yeah, just hopefully. We can uh, get a few green for you today on camera. It'd be lovely if we could get a few green or skimmers. We'll see what happens, see where we get drawn. So I'm on the way there now. I've just seen old Bobcat on the way down. And uh, I'm trying to keep up with him, but he's going quite fast. So uh, let's see if I can get behind him now and just follow him down to the draw. So um, yeah, we'll see you at the draw. See you in, see you in two minutes. Seven. That's a fucking old man. You're smiling, aren't you? Are we, are we, are we seven. Oh, fate, not fate. Yeah, go on. Dave Wood. Dave Wood. First time on venue when he draws. 15. Oh, lovely draw. Where's that? Just down there. Yeah.
Right, we're on the bank. We've drawn peg 15. Uh, it means nothing to me. Some people said it's not a bad area, so we are absolutely fantastic. That's his peg. I'm all set up. I've got uh, a rod. Well, normally, oh, Matt was saying that we've got a chuck right far, but in these pegs, it seem to be quite deep, so he said don't chuck that long, about 50. So I've got that one at 52, and then I've got another one at uh, 35, because it's very, very deep. Um, so I don't think we'll have to chuck that far out. I'm not going to the moon anyway. But what a fantastic venue it is. Got all my bait set up there, just normal bream rods. Um, I've got my SUV on my long chuck, and then I've just got a 10 foot rod. That's all I need. Uh, get out to 35, and I've got uh, braid on both. So easy as. Um, I'm just tying some up lamps. This is what up lamps I've got. Size 12, I said don't be shy. So I've got size 12 special feeders. Um, with a fluorocarbon uh, five pound up lamp. That's what we've got. Got a bit of a Kit Kat on the snack attack section. Uh, all my stuff there. So we're ready to rock and roll. I'm just gonna tie a couple more hooks and then uh, we'll uh, see what happens. It's only a small one though.
Right, uh, we're about um, two and a half hours in the match. I've had uh, one skimmer, well, one decent skimmer, um, a decent perch, and then a few small skimmers and small roach and perch. But Matt Malley has been on the phone, he says he's fishing quite hard. He says they ain't had a bite really over there. So I don't know what's happening there. As you can see, bait everywhere. Um, I can't really say too much because I don't want people to know what I'm fishing and stuff. But uh, that's my bait tray anyway. Nice Yorkie on there as well. Um, got a few micros there, look. But yeah, we're about, uh, well I think it's half past one. So we've not got uh, too long left. I think we're fishing well for. Keep getting odd knock on that. Well, I think that's on. What the hell? What is that? Well, last half hour, um, I've not had a bite for about an hour and a half, <laughs> absolutely uh, dead now. I was getting uh, quite a few bites earlier, I couldn't get in quick enough at one stage and getting bites on dropping all sorts and then they just seemed to move off. Um, I've just took a clip off um, a couple of wines and gone a bit further out, see if we can get a couple, see if there's any at, uh, back at feed or whatever. So. Hopefully, this last half hour, I need a couple of bream really, but it's not moved. But uh, I don't know who's winning it. There we are, lovely bit of a swan there going past. I didn't even get a swan bite. Um, apparently, there's quite a few been catching in fifties, but. Um, I've no idea what's been caught. Matt Malley says he's only had a couple of fish. Um, he's down in peg nine, I think, down here somewhere. But uh, I've no idea what's been happening. It's quite, you, you can't really see anybody. Um, I'm just hoping we we'll get a bream or something in this last half hour. So all we can hope for. Boats going past now. All boats are out. Um, and that's it. That's been my side tray, my mix. Special G green, alibut pellet, and uh, darken it off a bit of special G um, black. Um, just been putting odd bit of worm in. Pinkies, maggots, casters, dead pinkies, chop worm. Um, and that's it. That's your lot, proper bring fishing. Just hope, fingers crossed, it goes round in this last half hour. If not, we'll see you at the weigh-in and see what uh, see what we weigh in. So, see you in a bit.
Got in the car, put the aircon in, aircon on. Look at these salt and vinegar chipsticks. What a treat I found! That were hard work. Oh, bang on! Love them, old school. Right, well. I drew peg 15, sorry if it's like because air cons on it's like 55 degrees, well, maybe not that bad but it's like 28 degrees in car, let me turn it down for you so you can hear me, there you go, uh, I've drawn peg 15, people said it weren't too bad, um, apparently um, someone had done alright on it, um, I think Gareth Lambert said he'd done alright on it a few weeks ago or something and had £30. But apparently the water level were down or something. I don't really know, to be honest. I weren't paying that much attention. Matt Malley just said chuck about 50 yards and I've done with it, so that's what I did do. What the hell did you get out of here? Right, yeah, so. Yards, please turn here already, look. Um, and I chucked out long, I put about 10 feet of fulls in long, 5 in short, and then I started short, and I uh, chucked out first chuck, and it went like that, and then went woof, like that off at rest. I thought, right, get ready. Picked it up, nothing there. And Matt says, oh, watch out. Matt Malley says, watch out, because you might get odd one where. The rip rod off rest and there's nothing there. He says it's probably a liner or something. And I thought oh, that's weird. So it did that to me, and then um, I started getting a little perch, a few knocks. Then I got a, a skimmer, only a little one about that big. Then I got another perch. I thought this is all right. Chuck, kept chucking out on that line. And I kept getting bites, and I thought, oh, this is all right. At least I'm getting bites and having a few fish and what have you. I thought, yeah, carries on like this. Yeah, jobs are good. And anyway, it got a bit better, and I caught, ended up catching, um, ended up catching a decent perch, lovely big perch, about two pound it must have been. And then, um, and then I got, a, and then I got a bream about pound and a half two pound and then tip went round again like that and I picked it up and it rocked it I thought hey oh what's this might have big perch or bream or something and then uh, I got about four or five turns on it and it, and it was like stuck on it. it must have been a mussel bed or something like that or a snag or something and I thought god's sake so anyway I'm trying to get it out trying to get it out it won't come out anyway I gift it Give, give it large one and it, and it popped out but no fish on just pulled out um, Please turn shut up for God's sake woman and um, yeah and I lost one and, I, and then it went dead and I get an odd perch and what have you I tried on my short line I set that back up while it was dead Try my short line, that went never as good. I got one little perch off that. And um, no one were catching round me, and I thought, well, I'll just keep doing what I'm doing in that. And um, I lost another one on long line. I don't know what it were, probably a perch or something. And then and then that were it, really. At last hour, we were absolutely abysmal. I thought, who is it? Matt Malley, I rang Matt Malley, but he said, oh, they'll turn up last hour. I'm like, oh, well, then, that's all right then, nothing. But apparently the whole place hasn't fished great. I think Rob Wotton had 30 pounds. That were the highest weight that I knew of. Um, there were a lot of DNWs, a lot about a lot of three, four pounders really. Anyway, I ended up weighing eight, uh, seven pound fifteen, 
but Wardle come round and goes, oh, you win your section with that, and DNW next. I thought, I oh, didn't know, do you? didn't know. Anyway, this kid on end, an end of my section, he ended up having £15, didn't he, and doing me. So I've come second in my section, um, and he said, oh, in the mic frame, mic frame, it match, but you've got no chance of it. You're only paying top four. So, anyway, where am Chris? So, yeah. That hey, fantastic place though. Stoughton and Harold is, and I'm really enjoyed it. Bit of a walk, bit of a trek down with all your gear and stuff, but it's not that bad. The sun's done it really, I think, because that first hour when it were all cloudy and that, people were getting bites and getting fish. When it was cloudy that first hour, people were getting bites, getting fish. And um, and then sun come out and it just got red hot. But uh, yeah, um, I've had a really nice day. <laughs> right, enjoyed it. And uh, well done, Shane, for running it. Shane and Spud, I know you do a grand job down here. And I can't wait to come back. To be honest, I've, I've really enjoyed it. And it's um, gets you in the mood for a bit of proper feeder fishing. You know, big big ups, big line, big bait, big fish, doesn't it? That's what it's all about. Proper bream fishing. So yeah, really enjoyed it, and uh, I'm going to go home and have a curry, I think, for tea. I think curry's on the uh, curry's on the card, nice hot, in it? Curry, nice thatchers, and that'll do me. Eat these crisps on the way home. So that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, I'm not too sure I won the match, but I'll put the results up for you now. Like I said, the highest on our bank were Rob Wooten, we're about £30. And then that fifteen pound, and that way that they were top two. But apparently they've been catching uh, further up. Someone had got five or six bream or something. So that's it. Anyway, I'm gonna enjoy my chip sticks. Um, that's it. Big thanks to all the members. Uh, if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. More videos on the way, and um, give us a thumbs up. That's it. What, what more is there? Merchandise. If you want to any merch, bagupTV at gmail.com. I'll get back to you with the prices and everything like that. If you want to look at merch, it's on the end of this video. You'll see it. Right, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. Certainly going down again. I'm putting these in my mouth now. Oh, last thing. Shit. Up the England. England are playing... Sunday night, tomorrow night, in the final of the Euros, let's get it Wong, it's coming home, it's coming home, it's coming home, it's coming, football's coming home, that's my football chant, right, that is it, thanks for watching guys, see you soon, keep on bagging. <laughs>